Hi everyone, Mari here. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy Thursday. Um, and I just wanted to come in and talk to you ladies. Um, I'm one that I jump on the scale from time to time. And um, mind you, um, I know my body pretty well. You know, I've been doing this journey for almost two years now. So doing this journey, you know, you in weighing yourself regularly, you know your body. Um, and even though you do know your body, it still kind of throws you off. Um, so I got on a scale this morning and I was up three pounds and I'm going, there's no way in hell that I just gained three pounds overnight. And you kind of like, you know, take a deep breath and you recollect yourself. And I'm going, hmm, it's that time of the month again. I will, I usually ovulate about seven days prior to me um, having my period and this is where you know your boobies get really sore and huge and the whole bit and crampy so you have to know your body you know you're tracking I'm tracking you know I'm eating healthy I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing I'm definitely getting my workouts in and it does it shakes you up um, just for a minute because you have to kind of like bring yourself back and say to yourself this is all you know I'm bloated out it's water weight you know, it is what it is. Don't use this as an excuse to get off track. And that's what I want to relate to you guys, that message. You have to know your body. And if you are a female, then you know your body's going to go through this cycle every single month. And no matter how well I do for those three weeks, within that first week of the month, towards the middle, I get bloated because my period is usually right that smack in the middle of you know of the month so you have to know your body so it doesn't shift you you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in a week or so once your cycle comes through then you go back and you'll see that you, you know you go back to your normal way and of course look at that pimple Ugh. but you know what be grateful i'm grateful that it's here i embrace it you know i'm 37 um and just the thought, you know, of going through that midlife crisis and menopause and all that, it freaks me out. So the fact that my body's still functioning and doing what it's supposed to do, I embrace it. Um, but with embracing it, you also have to, you know, know that there's stuff that you have to deal with, like bloating. So don't use that as an excuse to get off track. And with me, like this particular week is the worst for me because I crave sugar, salt, you name it, I crave it. Ice cream over just crazy, I, I crave crazy, crazy things that I normally will not eat. Um, so believe it or not, I bought a pack of gum yesterday, um, cinnamon, because I needed something different in my mouth. And I literally chewed the entire pack of 16. You know, and it's, you have to know what works, you know. And yes, I, I have that compulsiveness that I, I want, you know, I want to eat because I feel like I need to eat. I want something sweet. I want something sour, you know. Um, usually I can fight those demons any other time, but this week is the hardest for me. Um, so I chew a lot of gum. Um, not even hard candy. For whatever reason, hard candy doesn't do it for me. But I've noticed that chewing gum definitely, definitely helps me crave, um, you know get off the cravings um so i definitely want to just share that with you guys um you're not alone it happens and i dealt with it this morning and it's not cute because three pounds you're like what but know your body you know and as you start weighing yourself more and more and you start noticing you know you, you notice your body i don't know if all the women are the same but i know for me you know my bro my boobs get very tender i get this pimple in the middle of my chin you know I'm more sensible, more emotional. So you mean you have to know, you know, like just step back and be like, okay, I'm going through all this. This is why. So just shake it off. Hopefully next week will be a better week. I'm gonna take it from there. But you're not alone, ladies, and don't get off. Don't use it as an excuse to jump off because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Does it have anything to do with you? So God bless you guys. Hope everyone's doing well, and we'll talk soon. Bye.